Okay, Stego, download this image and find the flag. Here's a link to the image. We'll copy that. We know the end sequence of the message will be $t3go, Stego. So I did a search for $t3go on Google. It leads me to this Medium article on doing LSB image steganography using Python. So one of the annoying things about Stego is you sort of have to figure out what tool they're using, uh, but it looks like these folks have already provided the Python code. Here's their GitHub repo, so I've copied that and go ahead and clone that repo. I need to get that uh, flag file. Let's see what I got here. Python free stego go flag. See what that does. No. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. NumPy. Let's know my password. All right, so we'll wait a minute here. Get NumPy installed. Hopefully that'll be enough to run this tool. Okay, let's try again. Oh, really? Okay, let's try again. Oh, P code. Uh, up up go flag ng. All right, there's my hidden message. There is no spoon. So I just threw the right uh, tool on it. So this tool actually does what's called least significant bit encoding. So if you think about it, each pixel is a red, a green, and a blue. And they just tamper with the least significant bit in red, green, and blue. That's not really going to be discernible to the human eye, but they're going to be able to store zeros and ones in there and hide something in the image. So I'll go ahead and throw in my flag. 